welcome back to another video and well in case you haven't heard I kind of got sent this thing yesterday and it's kind of from overthetopdc.com and there's kind of a link in the description and there's kind of like 12 of them look at that look at that they're gorgeous these are Kingdra EX boxes these things are new they retail at like Target and Walmart for like 20 bucks but they're only 19 or 17.95 on overthetopdc.com but um yeah thanks to them we're able to open up 12 of them, a whole case. This is an entire case. I've never opened up a case of things before. Like, I've never opened up like an entire case. So this is a, this is a big deal. Let me get the time lapse going and we will just crack into these. Actually guys, slight change of plans. I think I'm just gonna crack them one at a time. Uh, I think it'll just be faster that way. Like, we'll just crack them like this. I think it'll work out. But, oh my gosh. Well, maybe not. Holy smoke, I'm regretting this decision. Guys. Ah, we did it. We did it. Look at that. There's a promo card. I'm not going to spend like five years on each of these, but I do want to just briefly show you guys the first one. So there's the King Tree EX, which we will carefully pop out off camera. Um, boom. There we go. So there's the King Tree EX card. Very nice. This is the original one from Fate Collide. I believe it was the set that was releasing. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stick the code off to the side. And we got four packs. Sun and Moon, Steam Siege, Breakpoint, and Fate Collide. Um, we'll set the jumbo off camera and we'll just go through them. So we're gonna start with Steam Siege and it's gonna be a very quick opening, I think. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I'm failing so hard right now. All right, um, we'll set the code off to the side. Um, I'll open up the first box slow and then the rest we'll just speed through them because we got a lot of packs. Let's see, there's four packs per box and we got 12, so that's a big number that I can't count to. We got Dino Infernape and in. <laughs> what the? Starting off strong. The Reverse Rare and a Gardevoir EX. That is not bad at all. Moving on, we got a pack of Breakpoint. Breakpoint. Uh, I think the best card from here is probably the Greninja Break. Um, or not the best card, but that's my favorite card, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I kind of really like Greninja, okay? Like, I feel like I'm not the only one. Oh, what the? We're doing so well with Reverse Rares. We got a Garbodor and a Camerupt. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna save Sun and Moon for last. Hoping that we can pull some sort of Full Art or a Hyper Rare or... Oh my, it would be crazy if we pulled a Gold Ultra Ball out of here. Um, Because, yeah, well, I, I'm currently... I have all the Full Arts from every set except for Sun and Moon. Um, so, well... Oh, Delphox Break! This is a very solid box to start with. And a Grumpig. Alright, final little pack from the jig. Um, let's pull this out and we shall see four. Oh my gosh, I did the card trick right, guys. That's a... What the? We did it right? No way. No freaking way. We got Psychic Energy, Cinda, Lima, Passimian, Cutie Fly, Mahukita, Snubble, Alone, Chata, Standile, Spiro. What a box this is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have pulled three EXs or three Ultra Rares out of a box. Espeon GX. And we pulled two Reverse Rares out of that box too. So, very solid. Let's go ahead and crack this guy open. Alright guys, as you can see, I sort of did a time lapse um, because I, I just, I feel like it took too long to open all the boxes. And I didn't want you guys to get bored to death, but do we, we do have um, all 12 of the promo card. And then again, we've opened up one box, so we have 44 packs left. We got all the jumbo, jumbos, I almost said jumbos, jump ropes. Um, yeah, we're just going to crack these packs. It's over a booster box worth of packs. So we don't have that much, I don't want to like bore you guys and spend forever opening them. So we're just going to open them like this. We're going to get to the good stuff. Ooh, an Eveltal break and a Cobalion. And I'm going to stick the good stuff off to the side and that's all we're going to do. We're just going to crack the packs and see what we get. Um, you know, it's sort of like our Dollar Tree openings. Let me make sure the camera ooh, is in focus, though. That would be ideal. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a Sloking, which is a rare, and a Golduck. So nothing too crazy out of that pack. Um, I am looking forward to Summer Moon, though. Um, I'm, I love this set. I, I've said it before, and I will say it again. Sun and Moon, the best set. Or one of the best sets. I'm happy about, you know... They've changed up the, t they've changed up the TCG a bit with this set. Um, definitely, you know, it's been a while since we've seen a set with that many secret rares and stuff. Alright, so it looks like this box, nothing too crazy. We got one Eveltal, but now we're working um, with the second box because we're back at Steam Siege again. And we have 
a Dino and a Volcarona. I miss those dual types. I also miss break cards. I think they, I don't know, I like what they did with them. And it kind of, kind of reminds me of those old like legend cards. Uh, like they had like a holo legend, <gasps> a Garbodor foil, very cool. And a puzzle of time, that's actually not bad at all. I'll stick the Garbodor off to the side. Sun and Moon. And I never thought I'd say this, but these packs actually feel quite like, I can feel the difference between the packs. Cause you know, in Sun and Moon, you get an extra card. We got an Arcanine and a Cosmolum with the energy cards. So you actually get 11 cards rather than 10 cards in some impacts. And like, I can actually feel a difference, which I didn't think was a thing, but I apparently it is. Um, I can definitely feel it. We have a Motham and a Coughing, so nothing too crazy, but that's okay. So far, uh, the highlight from this box, or the highlight of that box was just the Garbodor foil, which is not the greatest, but that's okay. Uh, because, I mean, after that first box, we really, like, it, it can't get any better with that. A zoom roll, that's not bad. Here, let me go ahead and give you guys this code. Steam Siege code for you guys. Very cool. Breakpoint. Um, I'm hoping that out of these 48 packs, um, it would be nice if we pulled at least two. <gasps> Gyarados Secret Rare! Holy smokes! Look at that, guys! I don't remember right offhand if this is... This might be the most expensive card. I am not sure. Um, that is very nice. We've got an Ash Ninja and a, a Manaphy in the artwork as well. And that's just, oh, look at that, like, golden glory. All right, it's definitely sticking that. Let me put that to give it a spot in the back like that. Very, very nice. If we pull, like, a Hyper Rare or a Gold Ultra Ball, then this box, or these boxes are set, like, definitely. All right, so we will see what we get. we got a Grand Bull and a Butterfree, so nothing too crazy yet. And again, I apologize, the focus is... Not working out too great today. I'm trying some different stuff with the lighting, and sometimes it just it messes it up. It does backflips. You never know. We got a Wizmer and a Mr. Mine. All right, all right. We got Steam Siege with the golden bacon at the front, and we're gonna get a Ponyard and a Toxicroak. All right, all right. Breakpoint with a Greninja at the front. Be awesome if we could pull a Greninja. That, that'd be really ideal. Oh, I see something. What do we get? A Pancham and a Ho Oh EX. Speaking of this Ho Oh, they have announced that they're going to be releasing a new Ho Oh um, EX um, like theme deck with alongside a Lugia EX theme deck. Uh, so that should be really interesting. I think the release date was sometime in May. I want to say May 5th, possibly. Ooh, what did we get? What do we get? A Bound Suite and a Pre Marina GX. Wow, that was a solid box. Very nice box. So th that's the thing, like some of them, you, they come loaded. We got, what, three ultra rares out of that one box? And then some of them, you just you just pull like one good thing. So it's hard to say, it's hard to know what you're gonna get. But that's that's the fun about opening these things. Like the mystery is, is just, it's great, fantastic. Anyways, pop this open and we got, oh, what do we get? Mega Steelix Full Art, wow, look at that. Two full arts already. That's crazy. That's I'm pleased with that. Very nice. And they're nice full arts too. Those mega full arts. I'm that's just oh my gosh. I, I like them. I like it a lot. And it's shiny too. That's a shiny Steelix. Very cool. We have a pedal or a screw Squiz Elf and a Pangoro. That was a struggle, man. Sun and Moon Pack. Still, I'm waiting for that gold ultra ball. Where is it? Where you at, man? Where you at? Alolan Grimer. We got a How and a Sharpedo Foil. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Fate Collide. We will get a Helix Fossil Ammonite and a Barbarical. Barbarical! Steam Siege. Again, shiny Eveltal, or Eveltal Break. This one's actually golden. The Eveltal Bacon thing that I was referencing. Ooh, Yen Mega Break. Is, um, from the, uh, the shiny... There's like a shiny Eveltal EX promo card. That's what I was thinking of. So my jokes didn't even make sense. But I mean, when is that new? We got a Shelter and a Gold Duck. All right. We got two more packs from this half of the stack. We are already halfway through. That's actually awesome. I'm happy with the speed we are going. We got a po Polisand, which is a reverse rare, and a Cosmoum. Okay. And final pack from this half. We got Fates Collide. And we shall get an energy pouch, and an Altaria EX. Very cool. Nice Pokemon card indeed. All right, so let me move this stack over and get a bit organized, and now we shall open up these. I think they're, 
I don't remember how many packs were in this stack. I think there were only 20 in this stack. Because I think the other stack was a little bit larger. Oh, uh, we got Fletchling and a Clawitzer. Breakpoint. And we have a Dragout and a Trevenant. Sun and Moon. Where are you at? Gold Ultra Ball, Hyper Rare, Rainbow Rare, something good. Let's see, we got an Eevee and a Bruxish. All right. We did. See, I did see a DCE at the back too, so that's not bad. And oh, Alma Star Break, very beautiful. And we got a Kabutox, so that's not bad. Unfortunately, a majority of the break cards aren't worth a crazy amount. Um, there's a couple of like exceptions that are you know relatively playable, but apart from that, like break cards are for the most part worth less than EXs. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. They look cool though, so that's nice. And Fighting Fury Belt and a Dragouch. Those are two nice pulls. I'm gonna stick both of them out. Because the Fighting Fury Belt was um relatively playable cards. So we have Sun and Moon starting off the pack with a Cosmog, and we have an Experience Share and a Dragonite Foil. Very cool. I will take that. Fates Collide. And Struckle and Barbarical. Steam Siege. Persian and a Xerneas. Is this the good Xerneas? It's the Geomancy one. I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments. I feel like the good one, though, is the one from Break Breakthrough. I think that's the, the one with the good Xerneas, though. So I don't think that this is the one I'm thinking of. Radita and Shift Tree. Not bad. But could be better. As we open up a pack of Sun and Moon again, pray and hope to the Poke Gods that we will pull a Hyper Rare. Oh, I see something. Cosmog and a Ta Tauros GX. Very cool. Not bad at all. Loving these GX cards. I love the foil pattern on them. I will say that. Like, as we're alternating between, you know, the older X and Y era sets and the Sun and Moon sets. Ooh, very nice Mew. Um, I definitely will, will give them that. I love the new reverse foils in Sun and Moon. I love the new GX foils as well. And, yeah, I don't know. I just, don't get me wrong. I love the X, Y era, but I love Sun and Moon so much more. Because, I don't know, they're just, they switch things up in ways that I actually... You know, I enjoy and I support. So that's always nice. Aromatis, which I think is a rare. Or sorry, no, it's uncommon. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, Sun and Moon. Are we ending with Sun and Moon? Because I want to end with Sun and Moon. I'm going to save these two Sun and Moon packs for the end because I really like that set. We're going to open up Face Collide instead. With Wooden Zakat and Lugia. That's actually. I really like that Lugia card. I think it was a foil in the theme deck and. I really liked it there too, so that's cool. We got Fletchling and a Clotzer. All right, four packs left. Man, we sped through that. Lay me out. Ooh, a Greninja break. What? I was totally talking about this dude too. I was like, man, I wish I hope we, I would hope we pull it, and we did. So that's that's awesome. That is a very nice card. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. All right, final pack of Fate Glide, and then we got two packs of Sun Moon. And then we can count up what we got. Ooh, what do we get? Kabuto and a Zygarde EX. That is actually pretty good, too. Uh, I think Zygarde's relatively playable. Um, actually, pretty playable last time I checked. All right, Bound Sweet. We got an Alolan Muck, not bad, and a Masquerade. All right, this final pack I am going to open up normally, do the card trick and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's a code card for you guys, Sun and Moon Code. Four to the front, and here's our final pack. We have a Fairy Energy, Steeny, Spinda, Potion, Shelter, Makuhita, Fero, Grubbin, Drowsy, a Carvana Reverse, which is just a common, and a Gold Duck. All right, so with that being said, that is going to do it for today's video. Um, in total, let's go ahead and sort these off camera real quick, and we can do a quick little recap. But we were able to pull one Secret Rare and one Full Art, so that's actually pretty freaking good. And we were able to pull some playable cards too. Uh, actually, quite a few playable cards. So I will take that any day. And we did pretty good with the foils too. So I feel like we're on average, but I'll count them up in just a second. Please, um, I don't know, should I like play some elevator music while you guys are waiting? I don't know, um, let me sort this out. So we only got two full arts, but they were good full arts. So it's not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, so for the cards that we were able to, you know, set off to the side, we did pull a Fighting Fury Belt and a Mew. Those are the only reverses that are, like, super playable and expensive. Uh, but we did get one, two, three, four, five foils. 
And then we got one, two, three, four, five breaks. We got an Eveltal, Yonmega, Omastar, Greninja, and a Delphox. And then for EXs, we got Ho Oh, we got a Primarina GX, Alteria, Taurus GX, Espeon GX, Gardevoir, and Zygarde. So that was what? Seven? Six. I, seven. I can count. Seven. And then we got the Mega Steelix Full Art and the Gyarados Secret Rare, which I need to put into sleeves right now. I'm like cringing as I touch these things. I need to very carefully look at that though. That is awesome. That is beautiful. Tell me that's not beautiful. And it's like not. It's like actually pretty good condition too so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and again go check out over the top tcg.com if you're interested in picking up a king Joy xbox they're the place to go and it was again really nice of them so please thank them in the comments because you know videos like these they're i i wouldn't be able to do this on a regular day so it's because of them i'm able to make videos so i really do appreciate it with that being said thank you so much for watching don't ever be ashamed to be you because you are your own type of beautiful bye guys